Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. So we have completed Prankster's Paradise with Riku, and now we're going to drop over to Sora to complete it with him. Next up, it's a rescuing Rin's dangerous drop speeds and fearsome foes. Well, that's not good, but hey, what are we going to do? But do it, and, uh, ooh, Time Storm. Spin the Keyblade like a windmill, you slow down 90 miles. Oh, that sounds really, really, really cool. So I definitely want to drop Decelerator and attack up Time Storm. That is so cool sounding, and I don't remember what it's like. All right, one thing I did get with Sora last part that you didn't see, but I did get, was a special thing for his, uh, block here called Link Block, which basically is... If my partner is being attacked and I block, I will warp in front and I will link up with them. And it's really, really good. So I definitely want that. As for these, let's get rid of Thunder Dash and let's try out Time Storm. And honestly, Zero Gra Gra is Gravira, as cool as it is, does not help with bosses. So instead, let's try, let's try Circle Raid. Why not give that a shot? Time storm sounds so cool. As for our party, let's go and uh, spirits change party. Frazier, as cool as you've been, I think it's time. Let's get Ko Kabuto because he's defensive, and defensive type ones are very, very useful. So I definitely want to keep him on our team. Um, and yeah, that should be good for now. That should be good. Feel like, feel like, feel like this team we got an attacker and a defender. You know, it's kind of like regular Kingdom Hearts, except good. Um, I don't think we want to go down there, right? Well, good news is we can't. Okay, right. So we have to go here. Oh, wait. I want to get the item first. Don't get sucked in just yet. All right, let's head in. Whoa, okay. Hello, first person. So I feel like this is the midpoint and not the uh, the boss, as I thought. So that's okay. Look at that drop speed. That's incredible. It's like one point whatever. We might have to go with back to Riku for a sec because of it. It's okay. We'll try Time Storm out. Well, Time Storm is just fire, fire spin, but casts uh, slow, which could actually be pretty good. So I might keep that on for now. Down here is more enemies, of course. Yeah, so even, like, to the end of the game, you'll see the pandas, because they're just, you know, common big guys. I think their HP does start to scale, though. So you don't always, you don't have to worry about it being too overpowered or underpowered. Hello, this is, don't be friendship. It's friendship. I don't want to use friendship. Alright, and circle raid. Whoa! Okay, that's pretty cool. I could see that being really good, actually. For multiple hits. Okay, stop guarding. So there you go. That was that's that's the link uh, the link one. So I could just guard randomly and warp back to my dudes, and it will be a guaranteed guard, and uh, really good. So let's so I'll just show you here. If I just mash guard, if one of my dudes goes to get hurt, well, okay, maybe not. Wow. Okay. Never mind. Uh, but I'll just warp over to them and guard for them, and then I can counter. And it is so good. Cool. All right. Well, look at this deep trench area. We're at the bottom of the ocean, where everything is terrifying. Legit. If you ever want to be terrified of this world, uh, look up some of the stuff that they recently discovered in the bottom of the ocean. Because it's like... Like, you know, you, you know, you know, like, the, the angler fish and all that, but they're always discovering new stuff. And, like, for instance, the, the giant siphonomore is, by far, the worst thing God has created on this earth. It is a colony of millions of tiny bacteria, but they all link up together and make this, like, meters and meters long, like, giant thing. It's terrifying. It's by far the scariest thing I've ever seen that's a real thing. And, like, because it's not one thing but many things put together, you could, like, you could, like, take them apart. And, like, you see them, like, fall apart in the water just if, if something swims by. This thing 
will break apart into multiple pieces, and I do not like it at all. It's called the Giant Siphonomore, and it is the worst. Where does this take me to? Am I gonna figure out? Okay, question marks. Probably the right place. I couldn't remember if you fought Monstro in this or not. Like, I went back and forth in my mind. I know in uh, Birth by Sleep, they put in uh, Monstro as a secret boss, which is always fun and cool. Ow! Ow! Don't do that. Um, let's use Kira. Okay, this might have been a, the bad, a bad time to do this boss, considering it's under the stormy skies. Okay, well, let's use Chaos Snake. What is Chaos Snake? That, apparently. I didn't even see what that was. It looks like our gauges didn't even go fully through, so... Why is my dudes not being, uh, healed by that? Do I have to be close to them to actually heal? That, that'd, be, that'd be new information to me. I don't remember if this one's a harder one or easier one than the or original, or the other one, rather. Where is he? Well, right there. Hello. Okay, let's try. This reminds me of a Sonic uh, Unleashed, actually. Ow. I remember now. It's harder. There we go. We healed. Cool. It's like a nighttime version. It's like ice and night, which is a weird combo. I mean, is it because... Is he meant to represent... Oh, is he actually meant to represent the bottom of the ocean? Being like a... Like a giant glowing and ice inspired one? Because if so, that's kind of cool. I don't... Th I, oh my god. Ow. Thank you. Okay, I think it's time to use cross slash on him, though. Come on, dude. Let's go. Let's go. Cross slash... And it's not just one, it is multiple cross slashes, which is so cool. Okay, come on. Ow. I forget if there's just a, a puzzle to this boss, like when you're supposed to hit him, or if it's just like, just good luck, you know? That hit him a couple times. Okay, I'm just gonna block him when he does anything here. Like, for instance, if he were to... Come on. Maybe not? Okay. Sure. What you doing, man? Uh, me, me too. Hello. There we go. Now he's going. Time Storm. Couldn't even hit him. Time Storm sounds like a Power Rangers, like, franchise. Okay, let's... Yeah, let's run. There we go. Get Cura on the, uh... Get Cura on lock. Come on, get down here. That's just annoying more than anything. 
It's a good thing I have Fire Aga, because, like... Okay, excuse me, what? Come on, man. Not even doing it. Come on! How am I supposed to get him down? Do I just have to go away? Okay, he's doing some trick. What's that? Destroy the ice holding monstro. Okay. Sure. I forget if I forgot about this sequence. Whoa. Okay, we gotta get to it was on the other side. Okay, what is this? Is this the reality shift? Okay. Yeah, because I guess I didn't use that with Riku at all. Is Monstro going to help us out, or...? Wow, that's, uh... It's kind of dumb looking when you look at it, really. Okay. Okay! I completely forgot about this. Okay, well, I'm I'm holding forward. Come on. Just gotta I am try am I supposed to actually fully dodge those? I think so. Okay, dodge that. Ha, you fool. Okay, let's go, man. Come on. We're nearly there. Come on. Let's get you. Let's get you. We're so close. Okay, there we go. I guess we were close enough and just exploded. Huh. That's a weird boss fight. That's a weird, weird boss fight. I feel like I kind of cheesed it and didn't actually solve it in the proper manner. I get it now. After this, Pinocchio and Jiminy's world gets dragged into darkness. And they end up cast into the sea between worlds, along with Monstro. And then, they end up in Traverse Town and the belly of the whale. That's when we meet for real. It's like Master Yen Sid said. I'm in the dream, Pinocchio's world is dreaming. And that world will never be right again until it wakes from sleep. You know, oh, this one's a totally different Keyblade. I didn't even realize that this was a... Huh, I guess they have different ones. That's kind of cool. I didn't even know that was a thing. Um, at least, at least I didn't remember that was a thing. I was okay with worlds having hearts, but as soon as we started talking about worlds having dreams, that's going a little far, man. Hearts, I understand. Dreams is a little much. Gee, I hope so is okay. He'll be just fine as long as Riku's with him. Uh. Huh? You don't think? No! Master Yen said. Look! It's a raven! Oh! That raven is Maleficent's. What's the that? Huh? Why, that's Minnie's. Well? Huh? Gorge! What's it say? It's from Maleficent. She's kidnapped Minnie. She took Queen Minnie! The letter says for me to return to Disney Castle, or else. Mickey, there is no time to waste. Okay, 
You fellas stay here. King Mickey, we're going with you. Gosh, uh, I guess you're right, pals. We friends need to stick together. Mastery and Sid, we'll be back. Hmm. Timing is too perfect, too calculated. Maleficent must sense a change in the forces of darkness. A change like Xehanort. Man, it's, it's easy to forget that Maleficent was kind of like the villain of this series for a bit, and then kind of dropped. Kind of dropped off the face of the earth. Alright, before we can continue though, we do have to go back actually to Traverse Town because like, there's a new mission here. I don't think this happens often in this game because we can't actually go ahead right now. Uh, this is like the, the revisit to Traverse Town, which you don't really get often and I don't think I need to actually dive. But I do want to go to the main menu and do I want to switch Keyblades? Let's see here. Mmm, fewer reality shifts, extra boost in strength and magic. No, I, I like my dual disc quite a bit. It is my go-to. Um, we did, though, get a new, not ability, but command deck slot, which we will put in something else. Like, let's see here. What new ability do I want to put in as we're getting more and more space? I guess now, oh, well, why don't I have Balloonra? Why don't I have Balloonra in there? I was wondering about that. It's like, I'm I felt like I was missing something during that whole last thing. And there we go. Cool. That should work very well. Alright. Let's, uh, yeah, let's just go back. We don't have to dive again. We can just visit. Huh? I'm back in Traverse Town. Why, hello down there, Sora. I've been waiting. You do know you can wait on the ground, right? Come down so we can talk. Now? Now? What do you mean, now? You're the one who said you were waiting. You know, you're turning more into Neku every day. But listen, I'm glad you two showed up you because... You two? Does that mean Riku's here? Yes, but you and he are still a world apart. He didn't seem especially worried, though. He knows he'll find you. Yeah. Just look at Neku. He and the others all found their game partners. Oh, they're back home safe now? Mm. Remember what I told you. Their existence is on the line. And the Reapers are dead set on erasing them for good. But they found refuge in this world. And luckily, each other too. Reapers? Right. If Neku and the others want to get back to where they came from, they need to win the Reaper's game. It's like a series of missions. Those are the rules of their home ground. Except, this time, the mission is a tough one. They're pitted against a Dream Eater that can summon a hundred more like it. So, I was sort of hoping you and Riku could help us out. You have your Keyblades, and with those, we might still have a chance. Well, I'm glad he's here with me. If he is. Rico's on one side of the portal, and you're on the other. He might be by your side, he might be a million miles away. You can't measure the distance in time or space. Even without the wall between you, it's hard to say. Don't worry. He's with me. Even when it might seem like he's not. Then, you two are lucky. You and your friend are lucky too, Joshua. <laughs> I appreciate you saying that with conviction, even though you have no idea what you're talking about. Hey! Anyway, Neku and his partner are pinned down in the Fountain Plaza. I can count on you, right? Always! It's still just so funny how it's literally come down to Sora has to save the world ends with you from from you know not being not a franchise anymore. 
Like, it's funny, but it's like, that's that's what it, that's really what it comes down to. Um, and I'm very happy that, like, you know, as far as I'm aware, like, there is enough popularity that the, I feel like for sure they'll do another one someday soon. Is there even more enemies around? Totally no. Um, I'm sure they'll do another one someday. Um, and thanks to everyone in the comments who told me pretty much everything about Joshua, uh, even though it was pretty much what I expected and knew wasn't anything too crazy. Um, also, shout outs to these new Dream Eaters. They look like Giraffe Rig from Pokemon. Oh, these dudes are cool. They're like uh, Kawagata Beetles instead of Kabutos. Now, if I get both of them, then we could play Metabots, and that is good. Except for when I did Metabots for my channel that one video, uh, where I just got a game over. And I went from, oh man, I love this game, to, oh man, I hate this game, because, oh man, I don't like that boss fight that I was stuck at. Cool. It, I like how fire seems like a lot of enemies have a reaction to it in combat. Like, I never noticed that before, but it's really nice, actually. So let's... We didn't get the chance to actually explore here because of the boss fight when it originally happened, so let's do that right now. Um, let's see here. Can we hit... We can get two right there. Wow, okay. Don't know why that skipped the cutscene, but I'm really not too worried. Nice. We got, got a bunch of big boosts. That missed entirely. Is that a bonefish? That is a bonefish. Bonefish are, like, so used in video games, especially Japanese ones, and that's not a complaint at all. I've always liked... I've always liked fish enemies. Again, like, going back to the whole thing of the ocean is terrifying. Like, it's terrifying in a kind of uh, way that makes me curious. Um, and so it's like... I've always loved fish enemies, because they'll be based off of, like, some weird, obscure fish that's, like, super crazy and gross and stuff. It's wonderful. That's why uh, I do hope to one day do a Let's Play of Endless Ocean 2, because that's a really big game, but it has a lot of, like, really cool fish in it. And I, it'd be very chill, because we'd just be kind of, like, you know, swimming and stuff, except when we go down to the bottom of the ocean, in which case I will cry, because that, that is one of the scariest things in gaming. <laughs> you know? Oh, it's great. But it's like, it's like a curious fear, which is great. Um... All right, let's head down to the fourth plaza here. Hey, we have one of you. It's air combo. Time Storm. There we go. Time Storm does seem pretty good, if only it has a very, very uh, long reload time, which isn't that fun. But I do have reload uh, speed plus is one of my things I can get, and I definitely want that. That seems very powerful. Like, a lot of the, the, the bonuses, like, are, like... There's very few that I'd say are, like, entirely useless, but those are the ones you feel more than just, like, a defense up. I mean, except in some games you can really feel a defense up. It's not in this one. So, is this a shortcut to the plaza? Nope, that's a shortcut to nowhere. Nice. This area feels weird because there's, like, item shops and stuff, and because there's no item stores, it just feels unused. I wonder if this will be brought back for maybe three, and you'll explore it or something. This is starting to wear me down. Can we get a timeout? What? Miss me? Sora? I'll take it from here. No, I don't need your help. Of course you do. Where are your dream eaters? How else can you fight? I don't need them anymore. Oh, right. Your partner. Well, don't you want to make it out of the game? Who's going to help her if you get hurt? Okay, you win. I'll let you do the sweating. I really like the touch that they had the green puck uh, in there, which is, of course, like, the big key central gameplay element for um, The World Ends With You. I've played a bit of it, and it's really complicated, like, in a way that I, I'm worried that I wouldn't be able to do it pretty much any other way, like, other than by, um, possibly the iPhone version that gets rid of that. But, uh, no, that's cool. 
it really feels like there's a lot of love put into it. Like, this cameo, like, more so than a lot of other ones, where it's sort of like, you know, it's just put in, but it's not fully... Not fully... Utilized. Like, for instance, you know, the, the, the uh, Final Fantasy characters are all put in, but you don't get a, a real, like, Final Fantasy element until, um... What was it? Um... RE coded where you know you get cloud on your RPG team during the one RPG section of that game um, and you know like cloud works sort of like in Final Fantasy and can use Omni Slash and limit breaks and stuff and that's cool but for the most part it's kept pretty tame we got sliding sidewinder that's our dash dash attack he got away Sora so you must be Neku's partner yeah I'm Shiki. Nice to meet you. Neku told me all about you. Cool. But you should have seen him. He looked everywhere for you. Hey, Sora, stop talking. What? Why? You said you need her. That's a good thing. Uh... That's sweet, Neku. I need you to stop annoying me. Mm -hmm. Well, I still think it's sweet. It's nice to be needed. I'm sorry, is this a bad time? Because that Dream Eater we're after has retreated to the other imagining of this world. Other imagining? You mean, where Riku is? Yes. He and our other friends will do what they can, but we'll just run ourselves in circles at this rate. We need to trap that thing in one place, and then we can finish it. Trap it where? The third district. Okay. <laughs> Joshua. Yes, Neku? Tell me, are we really gonna make it home? But Neku, I thought you couldn't afford to lose. Give up on yourself, and you give up on the world. Right. So I'll see you there? Huh? Uh, me? Yeah. You're my friend. It's your home, too. Maybe it's you that's turning into Sora. Huh? Thanks. Get it? Cause like without without him being there, there'll be no the that's it. The series is over. Without hi, without him, there is no world. Guys, it's all connected. Guys, it's all connected. I love it. So Let's head to the 3rd District. I don't think we'll actually fight him just yet, because obviously we can't totally... I think you actually do need both of your characters there to do it. I remember there actually being so This dude is terrible. I remember there being some actual gimmick where you had to be, like, both of them there or something. There, I think that's the only forced drop of the game, too. Or maybe there's one later. Don't need that friendship portal. That is a terrible friendship portal. So, uh, no, no, there is a save point. Perfect, yep. If we just head there. Well, actually, you know what? We'll go right here for now. That should work. Wait, do we have a drop? Yeah, we do, okay. Um, thank you all for watching, guys. And next time, we'll continue on with Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance HD. Ciao. You can